Hello again, my lovelies. We're back here. Welcome back to my channel. And welcome to day 19 of May I Scrap Lift You. Today we are going to scrap this beautiful layout by Sidi Thick. Now you guys, I already have done a star like this, so I'm actually going to do... I don't know if I'm going to do a star again, or if I'm going to go with a different shape. But there's lots of stenciling, mixed media in the background, some strips of paper, and a very cute little baby. Cindy, thank you so much for letting me lift you. I do love your layout. I am going to do a shape with lines. I just don't know what shape. And it's also paw your way into our hearts. So today's layout is going to be a layout about my sweet and lovely bee, which I don't even have a photo pulled out. How rude. So I've got to find a photo of bee. Which, can you guys believe, I don't know if I actually have one in here. Of stuff to be scrapped. I don't. We're going to have to find a photo of B. Anyway, Call Your Way Into Our Hearts is a collaboration with myself and the lovely Miranda Weber, where we basically get together and we decided that we need to scrap pitch our scrapbook, our puppies, our animals, right? That's why it's Paw Your Way. So I'm going to see if I have any photos of B. Or any other little pepperskies. Got lots of old photos of Sam. So I guess I'm gonna have to find a photo. Oh goodness. Oh goodness gracious. How dare I not have any puppy layout or photos? You guys, for real. I'm gonna have to print a photo. I know. It's crazy. I could do one of these. I know there's an Ernie picture in here, I think. Oh. Look at all those dogs. Those are a whole bunch of dog butts. Wait, I think there's... I knew there was some of B. So let's see. What do we got? There we go. That's Bee's Christmas. That took way too long to find. <laughs> I am using my Altenew Wildflower collection. So this is one of those collections that I didn't have a lot. I've got a lot of 12 by 12 papers and a little bit of the ephemera. I went ahead and picked up the 6x6 paper pad to do some fussy cutting to get some more embellishments. So that's what we're going to do. I need to figure out what shape, cut some strips, do all that, and I will be right back. So I'm just going to cut my photo down to a 4x4 four four and mat it. Actually, we could probably go 3x3 three three if you guys want to know. Well... What if we just do three and a half by three and a half? Let's do an oddball size, right? That was, this was part of Bee's Christmas present. Her stocking had pig ears and all kinds of fun little treats. So I just basically, you guys, I took a scrap piece of paper. Okay, and I drew a star normal way, right? Like whoop, 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 whoop. And then I folded it in half and then defined these lines. So it's not a perfect star, but it serves the purpose. And I decided to go with the star, so I'm going to save this for something else. We have got, oh, you know what, actually? I feel like I want to mat it with that because we're going to pull in all the colors of this beautiful layout. I did do some fussy cutting, but I also, uh, in between, my husband had to run to the store, so I'm going to film a little bit uh, because he's making me do yard work. So I don't get to play this Sunday, so it's kind of like hit and miss, right? But long as I stick to my schedule and actually come home after work and scrap, at least get one layout, that should be fun. Alright, so now we are going to take this 
both sides. Ooh. That one's pretty. I think I want to mat it in black too though, but I don't want to take Dude, that's just gonna work. Cause I'm gonna need some long strips. I don't know what I'm worried about. Cause cutting into them will just make me use them quicker. As far as like the uh, rest of the papers. Cause I do want to kill this one off fairly quickly. And if I don't kill it off before I kill off that Rosie Studios collection for Stash Smash Saturday with Jackie, uh, this will be one of the ones that go in there as well. If that was big enough, I could just get away with doing that, you guys. Just saying. But we use both sides of that. This side. We use both sides of that. cut these into strips too. So I'm going to cut these all into like half inch strips, whatever, nothing too crazy and start gluing it down. Uh, I'm just going to do a layered effect. I'm not going to punch or anything and I'm just going to flip it over to that side and add, you know, glue right around, not glue, but ATG and set it down and I'll probably start, I usually start from the top. So I th think I'm going to go from the bottom up. I don't know and come from the side. We can do a lot of things. Maybe it'd be cool to have it do it diagonal that way. What do you think? Like, like have it come and have the diagonal shooting. Ha! And then we can have some stars down here and some stuff up there. Or however, I don't have it pulled up right now, but whichever way. So I need to pull that up. Anyway, rambling. So I will be right back. So I've got everything done. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do some ink blending. It had a green spot on it, so I just kind of kept rubbing it until it was pretty much just pink. Because it did come out with a little green on it. So you guys got to watch that the way I store them. They do kind of touch, but we got that all off. I've got B down here. We've got some of the little embellishments popped up. Um... I don't even know what I'm about to say. The way that Cindy did it. Um, I'm not going to put my title over there. My title is just simply going to be Happiness is Here, Memories. So uh, either one of those. Totally fine with. But we are going to do some ink blending with the Scrapping Reflections um, All Stars um, stencil. And I'm going to do one section so I can show you guys how I do it, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this crappy uh, washi tape. And I'm going to run that right along that line. So I because I don't want to ink blend inside the star, right? Ideally probably should have done this beforehand. But <laughs> and I've got worn lipstick. Do a little bit of a tone on tone, and then we're just going to come in and we're just going to ink blend. Now I do go clockwise and counterclockwise, just so that all areas get covered. And then run right along that line there, load it up again. And then we're going to... I don't know. I don't really know what we're going to do. Let's pull this off and we'll have to line it up and make it work because I'm going to have this weird edge here and here. Uh, but that's okay. So yep, clockwise and counterclockwise will help fill everything in. And we're going to pull that off. Ta-da! So then I can just do this since it's pretty much already in line. Just make sure. 
sure that we uh hmm. see so that stencil star is gonna be what size you think that is? What if we can tape that off and finish this star? Otherwise it's gonna be a weird seam, right? So let me show you what I'm thinking. So we just want to come in, cover up anything that might get covered by my brush just on this little doodad right here. Load that up and then we're just, whoa. can make this work for us. Okay. So pull that off. Good enough. And then we're going to come in and we are going to line this one up. About like so. But I'm going to tape off those two stars similar to what I did over there because we don't we just don't want to do that and then we'll just kind of make it work we're gonna make it work for us right we're just gonna come in and then these guys are all gonna be cut off because they're going into the star And I hold my brush like this instead of holding it like this. I put pressure. Just kind of, it's a preference thing. It's, you know, however you want to hold it. But I have had people ask me what I think is best. I, I don't know what's really best. I know what works for me. And I feel like I have way more control when I do it this way. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to come in and fill in some of these areas as well. Just want to get this nice and inked, and then pull that up, and then we're going to kind of move that a little bit, and just uh, kind of do this just to fill in, make the products work for you guys. Okay. We can just finish this star off. I uh, kind of doing this. So I'm gonna keep going with this so that I don't uh, bore you guys to tears. And um, you'll see that I'm using. I'm just using areas outside of this portion. To kind of fill in the areas, right? So there you go. This one we didn't get quite far enough down. That's alright. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to finish this up and I'll be right back. Well, now I've got that all done, so now it's time for my favorite part. I'm going to go ahead and cover this area up and make that not look so perfect, right? Do some water droplets, and I'm just lightly spritzing. photo. Alright. We're going to 
take our paper towels. And we are just going to roll up some of that water so it's not all crazy and wet. And wipe down my glass board glass studio mat. Um, if you guys are looking to pick one of these up, Use my code down below and save 20% off anything in the store. Best mat ever. And it's huge. We're out of focus. There you go. Bring it back in. All right. I've lost my phone. So, that's interesting. i got to find my phone so I can show you guys <laughs> the original that I left it. So, hold please. Let's try that again, huh? <laughs> so, here is... Cindy's original layout. You know what I just realized? She has that matted in something. Oh, I missed that. And she's got stitching, which that did not happen on this layout. So we're going to bring in the trusty old pin. And I did have to move it because B's facing this way. So a lot. So I'm just going to do this sketchy border. Be careful because the paper is still wet which will actually work in making the sketchy lines a little different because in the wet spots it'll spread out a little more. And then we're just going to go ahead and do the sketchy line. Alright, oh, we messed up already. Do the sketchy line right around the star. a light pressure so that I don't tear the paper. And we're going to be done with this lift. Very exciting, very exciting for me. do it you guys it's gonna do it for today you guys I have been doing that like totally losing train and saying the wrong words so don't forget to check everyone else out who is playing along with day 19 of may I scrap lift you and head on over to Miranda's channel to see what she created for Paul your way into our hearts that's gonna do it you guys thank you so much remember to always be kind and I'll see you next time bye <laughs>